No, sir. Hold that for me, bitch. Hold that for me, bitch. <laughs> Here's another one. Here comes another dude. What's going on, guys? It's your boy CBS back with another Destiny video. So, in my last review, I left the next review up to you guys, and your votes were very clear. So, this is going to be my review slash gameplay review of the Patch A Legendary Shotgun exclusive to the Dead Orbit faction. If this is your first time watching one of my weapon reviews, welcome to the channel, and I hope you like what you see and subscribe for more. If you want to see more reviews, there will be links to all my reviews and other playlists in the description box below, right below the like button, as well as in the top right of your screen in the little iCard section. So, with that being said, when I watch a review, I want to know important things like critical damage, body damage, how bad is range fall off, rate of fire versus damage output, things like that. So those are the things I'm going to try and show you in my live gameplay review portion so that you know what you're getting into with whatever weapon that I'm reviewing. If you just want to see the gameplay review, skip to the timestamp in the description box below or at the bottom of your screen. The first thing I noticed visually with this weapon is the five high speed ethernet jacks and the one USB 3.0 port available on the side. Judging from that, I should experience no lag using this weapon. It has a sporty but aggressive look of black and white, which happens to be two of my favorite colors with red being the third. So that's always going to be a plus in my book. For barrels, I have Soft Ballistics and Linear Compensator. Soft Ballistics, less recoil, penalty the range, and Linear Compensator, more predictable recoil with a boost to range and impact slightly. So Linear Compensator is definitely going to be the choice for me for the two barrel choices. And that's actually a choice for me on all the shotguns I get. I'm always looking for either Aggressive Ballistics or Linear Compensator. For my first perk, I have Final Round. Last round in the magazine deals bonus damage. Now this is always this is going to be a fan favorite for anybody looking for a good roll on a shotgun. You're always going to be looking for final round because, especially in six v six game modes, final round is definitely helps get that damage down range and get those second and third kills that you're looking for. For my second perk, I have knee pad. Slide further with this weapon. Now, if you stack this with the blade dancer with the agility boost and slide boost that he has, you can slide some further, some really far distances. As well as if you have a weapon with knee pads and battle runner, the speed boost that you get and the slide boost that you get are outrageous. So if you get a shotgun with battle runner and knee pads, it could definitely be useful. So just keep that in mind before you dismantle something that you haven't tried yet. For my third perks, I have single point sling, hand loaded, and rifled barrel. Single point sling, switch weapons faster, move quicker while aiming down sight. This is good for primaries and some secondaries, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for shotguns because most of the time you're going to be quickly aiming down sight, so you're not going to be hanging you're not going to be staying aimed down sight, so there's no need to have quick movements down down sight with the shotgun in my opinion. Hand loaded, it increases the effective range for for the weapon, but it does not increase it as much as rifle barrel. So the, for my third perk, I'm going to choose rifle barrel for this one. The critical damage at optimum range is going to be 20 with precision damage being 87 if you get a headshot. Each shotgun shoots 12 pellets with each shot regardless of whether it's aimed down sight or from the hip. This is another one of those amazing vendor rolls with great perks in my opinion. It's got a great range boost with rifle barrel only lacking range finder to max out the range. If I could have perfect rolls in the shotgun I'd say something like rifle barrel, range finder, and either final round, luck in the chamber, knee pads. Any combination of those three would make this an amazing, like it's probably the best shotgun out there. For the next weapon review, I want to do an exotic. It doesn't matter to me what exotic, so just comment below what exotic you want to see me do, and I, that's the one I'm going to do. It do. Just remember, I'm an Xbox guy, so no PlayStation exclusive exotics like the Jade Rabbit and things like that. But whatever exotic you want to see me do, that's the weapon review I'm going to do next. So with that being said, let's jump right into the Crucible. Here we go, game number one on dungeons. Now, what I'm running is the Mita multi-tool with the patch A, of course, and this is typically what I would run in a normal rumble game anyway, so this is just gonna be another day at the office for me, whether I do good or bad. So like I said, I'm gonna be running double snare with the the bones or claws of sealed Ahamkara grafts, excuse me. So I'll be running Mita, patch A, and the sealed grass with double smoke, so that will help close the distance a little bit because seeing how without blink hunters already have a little bit of, of an issue closing distance so let's see how we do this is like i said my day-to-day -day rumble loadout so even even for that matter this is my day-to-day -day trials loadout so 
Let's see how we do here. What the fuck? Did you see that? He's in the pause menu while he's battling. How is that possible? What the hell, dude? All right, well, I got the first kill. I should have led with the smoke just to slow him down a little bit, but I'll take it. Got one here. You don't want to run around with shotgun out, but he see he might be too far. Pull it out. He got shotgun. Damn it! I should have just fucking battled instead of trying to get away. Damn, he's already up a three kill lead to start. Holy moly! It's gonna be tough closing these distances. A lot of these, a lot of the dungeon is is long lines of sight that are tough to close distance. Normally, I would sit back and and oh my goodness, really. You want to come get it? Come get it, bro. Run, bitch. Somebody else is coming. Run, bitch. Why'd you follow me? Why did you follow? <laughs> Why did you follow? I'm trying to steal a kill here. Ooh, look at the freaking... I love the follow-up shots in this thing. It's so beast. Oh, shit. He came out of nowhere. <laughs> I knew he was coming. I just didn't know from where. I should have just backed up and pulled primary out on him. Damn it. All right, we got one. Got another one. Close distance. Sit down. Patch A, baby. I really love, I'm telling you, this vendor roll that you can get from the Dead Orbit is such a good ass roll with rangefinder, rifle barrel, knee pads to be able to close that distance. Ooh, got him. I wasted a smoke though, damn it. Oh god, damn it, I was pinched either left or right. I didn't really have a choice which way I was gonna go there. More control, I'm more concerned with getting the special ammo, so I'm just gonna sit here and chill. Did he come up? No, he didn't, but he got blasted, though. Got another hoe coming. Look at this bitch. Look at this bitch. Using shoulder charge and it didn't even get me. You should be ashamed of yourself using shoulder charge and not getting the kill, bro. Let me hide. I don't want to get picked off from the side of the map here. Come on. Five seconds. Maybe I can get lucky and get both of them. Four, three, two. Damn it. He's going to get me. Shit. How much, how much time on this one? A minute 50. Oh, crap. Oh, you Titan slam me, you bitch. Wow, dude. Oh, my God, man. Titans and their freaking singular supers, man. That's uh, no skill. Let's go, baby. Got it. No, sir. Hold that for me, bitch. Hold that for me, bitch. <laughs> Here's another one. Here comes another dude. I missed it though. That's all right. Let's get him anyway. Pop. Throw this right here just to hold him in place. He's running. Look at him running. He's running and he's lagging. They're lagging. The lag is real, boys. What the f? There's somebody behind me. There is. Got him though. What? Oh my god, dude. The freaking final round perk procced and everything, and he lived through that. Look at the connections in here. Oh my god, man. We're okay. We're all right. We're not gonna. We're definitely not gonna win this one. It's all right. We lost this one. Let's jump into game two, and see if we fare a little bit better. Here we go. Game number two on Shores of Time. Now this one, I did switch it up and went to Inferno just to see if it might make it a little bit more fun to use a shotgun because Inferno shotgun use is heavy. So more likely, I'll probably have a couple shotgun battles between me and other players. So. Now, in earlier in game one, I said rangefinder. I don't know why I said rangefinder. I meant to say rifle barrel. So this vendor roll having rifle barrel on it definitely makes a uh, makes it a viable option. I think that the boost between rifle rifle barrel and rangefinder, I think it's very similar, if not the same. So no special to start with. So I will skip ahead to when we get special. Oh yeah, here we go. We got, we got somebody out here. Oh, he traded. No way. And I got a headshot, too. Come on. Ender's trade. That's exactly what we did. We traded. No, damn you. Let me see if I can wait here. See if I can wait. Oh, got him with the grenade, though. Ha <laughs> ha, bitch. Ooh, gotta pick him off. Pick him off. Wasted that. Wasted that. Ah, oh, wasted them both, man. I panic freaking super. 
<laughs> oh my god, that's whatever. It's nice though. I, I gotta like that. I can I can definitely sneak up. A oh look, this guy doesn't see me coming. Bop. Let's go. A lot of people like to use. Hold that. A lot of people like to use fucking universal remote and in Inferno, which I think is so corny, man. You shouldn't be able to use shit like that in Inferno, but I don't make the rules. Bungie does. Damn it, they already pulled that special. What a bitch, dude. Oh my god, what a bitch. Look at this fucking dude. The running is real, bro. Oh my god, and I get killed like that, dude. I f oh my god, I hate Inferno. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, dude. Nope, I'm sure I ain't gonna get one more. Damn it, man. Well, look, either way, whether you saw it in this gameplay or not, I really like the vendor roll patch A. It's got, like I said, it's got knee pads, rifle barrel, it's got linear compensator. It works out really well. I went 10 and 10. I was playing like garbage. I was sitting there waiting for special that whole second game. So if you guys want to try the gun out, I would highly recommend it. It's a good choice if you don't have a good shotgun. Uh, with that being said, my name is CBS. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash a like. As always, be safe. Tell your mother to call me. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, what are you waiting for? Do it! Yes, you can!